Next, I'm going to talk about circulation for this Peninsula tank. So with this being my first Peninsula Reef tank, I soon realized that there would be some challenges in terms of circulation. This tank is six foot long by three foot wide. And what I found out pretty soon is that it can be tough to get sufficient flow all the way down to the end of the tank if your goal is to have power heads and recirculating pumps on just the one end of the Peninsula tank. I really do not want to have <clears throat> recirculating pumps on the sides, obviously, but really on this end panel. I want to keep it clean. I did think a little bit about maybe running um, some power cords on the edge of this trim right here and try to hide it, but that's something I totally want to avoid. So the first thing that I did, what I thought would be enough flow, I put in four Ecotec MP40s. And I played around with the different modes on those recirculating pumps. I initially tried the, the short pulse mode, and that is really the, the mode I've used ever since I started using the Ecotec MP40 pumps. So I played around with that, and for six foot long in terms of this tank, it just was not enough pumping power. Then I tried Reef Crest, and this was all on 100%. And then I also tried the, uh, the Gyra mode. And it just didn't seem to push enough water all the way to the end. I mean, it was sufficient for the first three, four, maybe even five feet of this tank. But it just wasn't doing the job, I thought, at the end of the tank. So that was, that was the challenge. And ultimately what I did was I swapped out two of the MP40s for MP60s. And once I put the two MP60s on the back panel here, again, I started to play around with the different modes and the short pulse mode just didn't seem to, to do the trick. Even with the two MP60s in place, I did also play around with the reef crest mode. Ultimately, I went with the, the Jara mode for all of the, um, the two MP60s, as well as the two MP40s, and I have them all set to 100%. And I really do think that's gonna do the trick. I like what I'm seeing here in terms of the flow in the tank. I am very happy that I went bare bottom. I guess that was factored into my thinking in terms of this Peninsula tank, was to go bare bottom, because I knew I would need a lot of pumping power at um, one end of the tank and just to have all the power heads on that one end panel here kind of figured that all the sand would get blown away on on this end and it would be kind of tough to keep it in place and that really was the uh, the case i believe so i'm happy with that decision to go bare bottom one more thing to to mention about the modes on the ecotech uh, MP40s and MP60s, I, I did play around with the tidal swell mode. And actually that, that was generating too much surge and, and random flow in here. I was, it was getting to the point where I, was, where I was cranked up where some of the water was getting close to going over the side of the Euro bracing. So it was, it was moving pretty good. So I really do think the, uh, the gyro mode is the perfect mode for this tank. Will I need more pumping power down the road once corals start to grow in and, and you know, start uh, losing flow due to the growth of the corals? I don't know, maybe. Do I want to potentially think about swapping out the two MP40s at the back end of this panel here for another couple of MP60s? I mean, geez, if I do that, things are really going to be cranking at this end of the tank, and I, I sort of worry about 
being able to have corals on this part of the reef. Finally, I want to talk about my return pumps. I have two Royal Exclusive Red Dragon 3, 100 watt high pressure, 2400 gallon per hour pumps. I like to have two pumps for a couple of different reasons. One is for redundancy in case I have an issue with one of those pumps, I have an extra one on hand. But I also like to plumb my return pumps into a, uh, one of them into a frag tank. And I also have another one plumbed into a water change system. So I do have a lot of pumping power coming from those pumps, but I only have them running at 50% uh, or 50 watts for each of those pumps. So I, I do have more giddy up if I need it with those pumps. But at this point, they are certainly supplementing the job that the MP60s and MP40s are doing. Anyway, many thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. One last thing, if you need help with a new tank build, including help designing a custom aquarium or help reconfiguring your current setup, then feel free to reach out to me. I will put a link in the video description below. And if you are looking to add some equipment, I do sell GHL, Pax Bellum, and Royal Exclusive products, as well as Reef Octopus Calcium and Calc Reactors, which is the equipment I use and recommend. So again, I will put a link in the video description below. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.